<clears throat> All right, today's lesson was on representing functions using words and equations and tables and graph. Uh, this is just a continuation of what we did, of what we have been doing the past few days. So all the lessons are sort of similar. Um, okay, so let's start off with our first example. Today we talked about a real-world link of students going to a museum. A group of friends are going to the museum, and each friend must pay an admission price of $9. So what we're going to do first is complete the graph and graph the ordered pairs. So if one friend goes, then it's only $9. But if two friends are going, then it should be $18. If three friends are going, that's $9 each. 9 times 3 is 27. And then finally, four friends would be 9 times 4, which is 36. So each time, it looks like we're multiplying by 9. Interesting. We're going to use that for number 3. But for now, Let's just focus on gra um, graphing these ordered pairs. The first ordered pair we have is one ticket for $9. The second one is two for 18. The third one is three for 27. And the fourth one is, whoa, I'm all over the place here. The fourth one is four for $36. So the first one, we're going to go over walk one, fly nine. So it should just be under the 10. Then we have walk two, fly 18, just under the 20 fly sorry walk three fly 27 just above the 25 walk four fly 36 walk four fly 36 just above the 35 okay and then we usually like to connect the dots so we can observe the straight line so how can we describe this graph uh several students today said it was linear which is correct linear you can also say that your ordered pairs ordered pairs fall on the line. I had another student tell me today that it was a steep line, which is, yeah, it, it does look pretty steep, which means that the tickets are expensive. They're not cheap. That means they're going up at a rate of $9 per number of friend. Okay. So steepness means that it's accelerating at a high rate. Okay. That it's increasing at a, at a high rate. Now, how do we write an equation to find the cost of N tickets? Well, let's go back to this. How did we go from our number of friends to the total cost? And we discussed that we're multiplying by 9 each time. Okay, and instead of writing the multiplication symbol like that, let's do with a dot. Okay. So the way we're going to multiply is whatever we get for n, we multiply by 9. So the equation is going to be the total cost is equal to 9n. Later today, we're going to be using the variable t for total cost, so I'll just put that there now. And the ordered pair for when five friends go to the museum, well, let's put a fifth row here, and let's see what we should do. Well, if we multiplied every one of our n's by 9, then we're going to multiply the fifth n by 9. 5 times 9 is 45. So your ordered pair is for five friends it costs $45. If you were to graph it, it should fall right on the line. And if we were to extend this line, you could see that it goes right to that point. All right, let's go to the next example, the first one. The drama club is holding a bake sale. They are charging $5 for each pie they sell. Write an equation to find the total amount earned T for selling P pies. What they want you to do is use T and P in your equation. But what we have to do is read carefully and look. Is it $5 per price or is it $5 per pie? And if you just read it carefully, you should know that it's $5 per pie, which means that you just put your coefficient 5 in front of P. That's literally all you have to do for these questions. So there's the first example. Second example we have, Mia, in a science report, finds that the average adult breathes 14 times each minute when not active. Write an equation to find the total breaths B, a non-active person takes, in M minutes. Okay, so we know we're going to have B set equal to M, but where does this 14 go? Does it go as a coefficient to B, or does it go as a coefficient to M? And let's take a closer look. 
Mia finds that the average adult breathes 14 times. So what we do is take a look at the words. and It says 14 times each minute. Right here is the key. Should it reveal to you that the 14 is the coefficient for minute? So that's why we have the total number of beats is equal to 14 beats per minute. That's all you have to do for these. So here we have letter A. A mouse can travel 8 miles per hour. Write an equation to find the total distance D. A mouse can travel in H hours. So if we know the mouse can travel 8 miles per hour, H stands for hour and per means multiply. So that's why the correct answer is D equals 8H. Letter B, Samantha can make 36 cookies each hour. Write an equation to find the total number of cookies C that she can make in H hours. Again, it says here 36 cookies each hour. Again, just like letter A, you multiply the number of cookies by the hour. This will give you your total amount of cookies. In this example for number three, the student council is holding a car wash to raise money. They are charging $7 for each car they wash. What they want you to do for this example is to write an equation and draw a table. So the table is just like before. We have our C, our input, and our T, our output. Try to use easy numbers. I would have preferred you use zero here. They sort of skipped zero and used the one. That's okay. Now, if you notice, every C, I have to multiply by seven to get to T. So that's why T is equal to seven times whatever C is. So this is your equation. All you have to do to fill in the chart is fill it in with whatever inputs you choose. I always recommend you use 0, 1, and 2. Here they used 1, 2, 3, and 4, so if you want to, you can use 1, 2, and 3, but I, again, 0, 1, and 2 are the easiest, right? It reduces your chance of making a mistake. Number 4 is asking you to graph these ordered pairs that appear uh, above in this example. So the ordered pairs are 1, 7, right? We can see it right over here. Then we have 2, 14, which means two cars washed gives you $14, three cars washed gives you $21, and four, four cars washed is $28. Notice here they've graphed all of them. You're probably asking yourself, why is there a zero, zero there? Well, think about it. If you washed zero cars, you would earn zero dollars. And the proof is using the equation T equals 7C. If I put a zero in for C, 7 times 0 is 0. So that's how we know 0, 0 is one of your points. Final example, while in normal flight, a bald eagle flies at an average speed of 30 miles per hour. Again, try to use 0, 1, and 2 as your hours. Always keep it simple. If a bald eagle is traveling for 0 hours, it hasn't traveled at all. But if it traveled for 1 hour, Let's read it again. It says here 30 miles per hour. So we know one hour is 30 miles. Now in two hours, you would think that a bald eagle would double it, right? So our rule looks like we're increasing by 30. That means we're multiplying our H by 30. And that's going to equal D. So the distance the bald eagle travels is 30 miles per hour, 30H. Now that we have our equation and we have three ordered pairs, 0, 0, 1, 30, and 2, 60, we can now graph these. The first one is 0, 0, the next one 1, 30, and then finally 2, 60. Your graph should look like this, somewhat steep, which shows you this, the high speed that the eagle travels. Now when we analyze the graph, we can just say that all ordered pairs fall on line and you can also state that it is a linear equation because there's a constant increase of 30 per hour and the equation is 30 H equals D 30 miles per hour